Hello, welcome back again. It's good to see you, uh, figuratively speaking, uh, on uh, this April 26th sermon. I'd like to begin by saying a big thanks to uh, Phil Howard for his willingness to fill the pulpit for me or fill your YouTube screen, whatever the case what it was, um, last Sunday and bringing the message. I do appreciate that this church has so many people who love Jesus and are gifted and have the ability to proclaim the good news of Christ uh, on the Sunday worship service, as it were. So if uh, you would join me as we go to the Lord in prayer this morning for the, this church and this community, that God would be at work in powerful ways in us, through us, and in our community, uh, I would appreciate it. Heavenly Father, we come before you and we thank you for your goodness to us. We thank you that uh, you are in full control of this world and the circumstances that are uh, going on it. And in most pressing, I know that as we continue to have to be quarantined at home, we pray that uh, you would be with this, all the people who are affected uh, by this coronavirus. We do continue to ask that you would provide a cure for it. We pray that you would also uh, be um, giving strength and grace to doctors and nurses and Hospitals, help them to attend to those who come down with it. We pray that you would protect those who are vulnerable uh, to its deadly powers uh, so that they would not get it. And if they do, that they would uh, not die from it. We also pray for the governmental leaders who uh, have to make challenging decisions as it terms to, in terms of people's health and the economy. And so we ask that you would uh, give them wisdom uh, beyond their years and beyond their ability. Uh, for we have so many people in such desperate situations. And Father, we pray for businesses and workers and those who are unemployed and for the financial impacts. And for those who are in schools, uh, whether they're teaching or student, that they would continue to learn and grow and adapt to this new way of approaching school. Father, we also want to pray for other special challenges that this community faces as there's been a lot more talk I've seen on the drought conditions that we have this year and that it's one of the worst in, in 10 years or so. Father, I pray that for all who are affected by this, uh, I pray for grace and strength and the ability to trust you. Father, I know it affects lake levels at Klamath Lake and the flushings and the debates over all of these kinds of things and court cases. And there's even talk about uh, concerns about uh, forest fires given the drought. So Father, we just ask for your your presence to be at work in each of these situations so that you would provide uh, the moisture when we need it. Father, we also wanna lift up the uh, South Suburban Sanitary District as they are considering another site for uh, use of their the field for um, putting some wastewater. Uh, we pray that you'd give them wisdom and the community to know what site would be best uh, to serve the purposes of both uh, the neighbors of those of that site and uh, the, the community community that relies on that uh, sanitary district. I also pray for the debate and discussions over the Jordan Cove as there's appeals going on. Uh, we ask that uh, your leadership would be at work in the federal and state levels as they weigh the pros and cons uh, to that gas pipeline. Father, we also want to lift up those people who are dealing with health situations at UEFC. We want to pray for Bo Plummer, as they try to run tests to figure out what's going on in his uh, body, we pray that you would bring healing and understanding to the doctors, or healing to Bo and understanding to the doctors to what's going on, and give him strength and patience uh, as he waits for that. We also ask for uh, John Buckaloo Sr. and the cancer that he is dealing with, as well as Manuela Pasquale. We pray that you would heal their bodies. We pray that you would minimize the effects um, uh, pain and uh, side effects from treatments that they experience. We also want to lift up Morgan Lentz as the doctors are continuing trying to figure out what's causing her headaches. I ask that you would lead them um, to correct insight and uh, that they would be able to treat that. We also ask that you would just heal her miraculously on your own. Father, there are many others that deal with all kinds of health situations, whether it's pregnancy or uh, chronic uh, illnesses or recovering from uh, various uh, situations in their lives, and we pray for your mercy to be upon them. Father, we also pray your mercy be upon us, each of us that uh, is connected to United E-Free. Help us to demonstrate the fruit of the Spirit when it comes to patience. 
it's been now a month since we've been quarantined at home, and I know a lot of us are getting stir crazy. And so I thank you for the opportunity that this gives us to grow in such a challenging character quality, but it's one that mirrors your character, and that's what we want to be about. And so I pray that you would enable us to be patient because the Spirit is at work in our hearts and our lives, patient with situations and uh and stay at home, patient with one another, with those who we live with. We just ask for that fruit to be demonstrated. We also ask for patience as it relates to the worship search process, that you would continue to um, help that process continue to move forward and give wisdom to all that are involved. And we pray that um, your hand would be recognized at work in the hearts and lives of this church and uh, that individual. Father, we also want to uh, pray for the children's ministry, and as we're trying to have a you kids ministry online, as it were, with sending materials that uh, parents can do with their children, I pray that uh, the, the biblical truths that uh, would have been taught during you kids would be um, deeply um, embraced by families and as they go through those materials throughout the week. And so thank you for the opportunity to give those materials on a weekly basis. Father, we now ask you to really be at work in our hearts and our lives as we listen to the, the sermon, as we um, ponder the truths of your word, as we then try to apply your word in the power of the Spirit uh, as you convict and lead us. And so I pray that your Spirit would give me the words to say this, uh, this moment to um, convey your truth in a way that's accurate and uh, really catches the heart of of what you want from us uh, as we seek to live as Christ has called us to be his disciples in this world and this time. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.